Ubuntu 11.10 doesn't really give us that many options for doing custom theming. So today, that's what we're going to do on Spatry's Cup of Linux. Okay, uh, in the last episode, this is how we left our desktop with the green grass and this uh, lovely little theme that came included with Ubuntu, but suppose I want to change it. Now, you'll remember before that when we went into changing the appearance, th we're kind of limited with what we can do here. Unlike previous versions of Ubuntu or its derivatives, you have more choices. You only have four choices here. You could go with the standard ambience look. And we'll go ahead and switch it back to its default appearance. And very few other choices. Uh, you have high contrast inverse or high contrast themes for visually impaired, but not really much else. Well, I did some searching online and I found that we can install some themes to this. So let's get started on that. All right, first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little customization here. I need to add a terminal to my side panel, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. All right, and here's our terminal, and we're going to put this right over here so that I can make good use of that, and then I can go ahead and close out of this. All right, and I'll go ahead and close out of the appearance as well, and then let's open up our terminal. Now, I wonder if this is going to give me any options like we've had before where we could make our terminal a little bit transparent, that sort of thing. Well, the file menu is up here, so let's see what options it gives us. I think it would be in Profile Preferences. I'll check this first. Ah, here we go. We can uh, choose the title. And I'll go ahead and do that now. We can pick some colors. And hmm, it doesn't let us change. Uh, the transparency level, but maybe that will change once uh, I eventually do uh, some desktop effects. I'm not doing that in this episode. We're just strictly theming, but I will have a future episode where we're going to add our desktop effects to this. Okay, so we'll select that. That looks cool. Oh, maybe we can do that. Ah, very nice. We can change the transparency. Okay. Maybe if I want it completely clear. Yeah. And we'll change the background color to something that's a little bit more appealing. Okay, I like that. Alrighty then. Okay. okay, now I've done some searching online and I found that I'm not going to really be able to do much in terms of uh, putting themes on the Unity shell. But the thing is, without having to add any PPAs, we can install the Genome shell. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to go sudo apt get install genome shell hmm. 
Yes, we do want to continue. This is going to be 80 and a half megs that's going to download. We have the shell installed. Next, we want to tweak it and play with it a little bit. So let's go ahead and issue another command to our terminal. And this is the genome tweak tool. Excellent. Okay, now that we have it installed, let's play with it. All right, what we're going to have to do here is log out of our session. And then you're gonna see this little tool icon here. Click on this and we're going to select genome. Now, genome does require a 3D accelerated graphics device on your computer. So if you don't have any graphics acceleration, this may not work very well for you. Ooh, I like this. Okay, and let's see how this looks here. Ah, neat. Click the Activities button. And we have a nice little panel on the side to work with. We can look at different applications. I think, here we go. Yes. Oh, very nice. As a matter of fact, I like how this lays everything out better than the Unity shell does. Okay, but we want to tweak this thing. All right, we have advanced settings right here. Let's see what we can do with this. Okay, in the desktops, oh cool, we can put icons on here. Much better than the Unity, I was unable to put anything on the desktop, at least this will let me do that. Okay. We can also choose our default fonts. We can show the date on the clock. Cool. Show the time with seconds. Okay, and we can have maximize and close on there. Let's see what other things we have. Shell extensions, themes. Okay. Ah, and it looks like we have a bunch of choices here. We can uh, choose different themes here. Let's try Atlanta. Metabox, Windows, okay, all right, so now we have advanced settings, and that was through installing the genome tweak tool. Let's change our desktop background here, I know they usually list a number of things in with this, okay, and it looks like we're greeted with the same uh, Pretty much the same that we had. Ah, even better. We have a number of uh, the uh, 
add Wada Dean. Let's have a look at that one. That one looks kind of cool. The ambience theme. Radiance. And I think I like the Adwata theme a lot better. Okay, so now we are able to uh, change some themes and have some more options. And it stands to reason that if you go on genomelook.org, you may be able to find some themes for this. So pretty cool. I'm glad I, uh, I glad I'm glad I stumbled upon this, and. I like uh, how uh, this one is laid out a little bit better than the Unity. This is kind of cool. Okay. All right. Well, there we have some theming and uh, changing the design of the uh, operating environment. And in my next episode, we're going to add some 3D effects.